Hello again, this is Dave Erickson, and joining me today is Sean Sullivan with Mavic, a name brand that's been around for over 100 years and now making a name for itself in the world of triathlon. Tell me more about Mavic. Uh, Mavic's been around since the 1800s. Uh, we're probably most well known for our innovations in rims, components, but now uh, Mavic's a, a brand that encompasses shoes, apparel, uh, wheels, and, uh, and now helmets. So uh, we're doing uh, things across uh, the bike component range, and uh, now we're uh, making some wheels in triathlon. And this product that you have in your hand now was just made public earlier this year uh, so people can get their hands on it. What is this wheel you have? This is the uh, CXR80. This is our newest aero wheel set. Um, this is a big innovation for us. We've been working on it a long time in the wind tunnel uh, for about the past three years working with athletes and we've just introduced it to the public. It's in uh, bike shops right now uh, and we'll have some people uh, racing on it today in Kona. So what's so special about this wheel? There's something about a blade you have involved? Yeah, so what's uh, unique about this wheel set, it's the first wheel set to truly integrate a rim profile, uh, the whole wheel, a rim profile, a tire, and a unique blade to make it uh, one unique uh, airfoil shape, both on the leading edge and on the trailing edge of the wheel uh, to really increase aerodynamics. Um, the engineers really felt like the one piece that was missing from the puzzle was uh, not having control over the tire and the effects uh, that that had on the wheel performance. So by integrating everything together, that's really where we'll be able to make big strides in aerodynamics at every yaw angle. Can you show me a little bit about that little sure. blade? So this is a, a tubular tire setup on, a, of course, a carbon profiled rim. And what we've got here is a simple blade that snaps into place, kind of like a clincher uh, beaded uh, tire. And that uh, just fills the void between the very edge of the tire and uh, the wheel. And it makes it uh, smooth and uh, just like an airplane wing to the wind. And there were a number of athletes uh, using this product in the 2012 Ironman World Championship. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got some big hopes for uh, Fred Van Leerd and Tim O'Donnell. Um, those guys have been uh, integral in testing the product. They were on it here last year. Uh, we've done a number of refinements uh, in the wind tunnel to the tire design, uh, to the spokes and everything between now and then. And uh, now we've got the final product out there. The same one they're racing on is uh, the same one that consumers can buy. From wheels to shoes, tell me about this uh, bright, good-looking shoe you got going. Yes, well, that's the uh, new 2013 Tri Helium. We've integrated some of the lightweight uh, aspects of our Helium uh, road shoe into our triathlon shoe. It's lightened it up. Uh, we've introduced a new D-ring on there to make the attachment uh, better for different varieties of uh, feet and instep. Um, and it's a, a little bit more breathable uh, than last year's model as well. Sounds like some exciting products for the world of triathlon. Where can people find out more information? Uh, the best place to go is mavic.com, and uh, you can find uh, all the products listed on there. Also, you can find uh, where your local dealer is on there all, as well. Sean Sullivan from uh, Mavic, thanks very much. Thank you.